Oh my God. It all came to light in October after a shootout on the I-17. In the suspect's vehicle, two guns stolen from MCSO. And we cannot allow for them to end up in the hands of people who wish to do harm to our community like occurred in that incident. Days later, Sheriff Paul Pinzone announced 29 guns were missing since before he took office. Because the record keeping in this organization for previous administrations was so poor that we did not have enough data actually account for our own weapons to determine what was missing. With the help of the ATF, MCSO did another audit and found the number is actually much higher. 29 fully automatic weapons, 20 short barrel shotguns, and one short barrel rifle, all missing or stolen from MCSO. I said it before and I'll say it again, this is unacceptable. MCSO also gives guns to qualified armed posse members, a group of civilian volunteers. We have six requirements to be a member of QAP. A background check, a personal history interview, a polygraph, a psychological exam, a urinalysis, and then a qualification with the firearm. Penzone says he's temporarily suspending that program after finding just four of the 235 members have met those requirements. There was a push to increase the volume of that posse by the prior administration, in my opinion, for the perception of um, showing some expansion of law enforcement force, which I really think was more so politically motivated. And Penzone apologized to those posse members, says it's not their fault. He's giving them a chance to make up for those requirements. He's also sending a letter to the 7,300 current and former MCSO employees saying if you might know or even have one of those missing guns, they have a chance to turn them in. Lauren Reimer for Arizona's Family.